Have you ever wondered about the immense power hidden within the tiny atom? It's a question that's fascinated scientists for over a century. You see, the atom, though minuscule, holds a phenomenal amount of energy within its core, the nucleus. This energy powers the stars like our sun and can be harnessed right here on Earth to generate electricity in nuclear power plants. The concept of nuclear energy is a remarkable one, but it's also a topic that sparks much debate. Why? Because this tremendous power can be wielded for both tremendous good and tremendous harm. On one hand, nuclear energy could provide us with a nearly inexhaustible source of power. On the other, it's the force behind devastating weapons and catastrophic accidents. But how exactly do we tap into this energy? How do we pry open the atom and let its energy spill out? The key to unlocking this power lies in a process called a nuclear reaction. So, what exactly is a nuclear reaction and how does it work? Well, the magic of a nuclear reaction lies in the heart of the atom, the nucleus. It's here where protons and neutrons huddle together, creating a tiny yet mighty source of power. But how do we tap into this power? There are two key ways, fission and fusion. Let's start with fission. Picture this, an atom, minding its own business, when suddenly a high-speed neutron slams into it. This collision causes the atom to split into two smaller atoms, releasing a few extra neutrons in the process. These newly freed neutrons then go on to collide with other atoms, causing them to split as well. This, my friends, is a chain reaction. It's like a microscopic domino effect, and each time an atom splits, energy is released. Now let's talk about fusion. While fission is all about breaking things apart, fusion is about bringing them together. In fusion, two small atoms combine to form a larger one. This happens under extremely high temperatures and pressures like those found in the heart of the sun. And just like fission, this process also releases energy. But here's the catch. While fusion requires high temperatures and pressures to occur, fission can happen at room temperature. This makes fission more practical for energy production on Earth. However, the dream of harnessing fusion with its potential for virtually limitless and clean energy is still very much alive. Throughout these processes, neutrons play a vital role. In fission, they initiate the chain reaction. In fusion, they help stabilize the newly formed atom. It's no exaggeration to say that without neutrons, the world of nuclear reactions would be quite different. So, there you have it. Fission and fusion, splitting and combining, releasing energy either way. It's a complex process, but the result is a tremendous release of energy. The power of the atom once harnessed has the potential to revolutionize our world. But as with all power, it must be handled with care. Now that we understand the science, what can we do with nuclear reactions? Let's dive into this exciting world of endless possibilities. First and foremost, nuclear reactions are at the heart of nuclear power plants, providing a significant portion of the world's electricity. These plants harness the energy produced in nuclear reactions to heat water, producing steam that drives turbines and generates electricity. And while the idea of nuclear power may seem intimidating, it's worth noting that these plants emit virtually no greenhouse gases, making them a more environmentally friendly option than fossil fuel-based power plants. But the applications of nuclear reactions aren't just limited to lighting up our cities and towns, they're also used in the field of medicine, particularly in the treatment and diagnosis of diseases. For instance, radioisotopes produced through nuclear reactions are used in radiation therapy to target and kill cancer cells. Similarly, nuclear medicine imaging uses small amounts of radioactive material to visualize, diagnose and treat a variety of diseases. Nuclear reactions also have potential applications that may seem straight out of a science fiction novel. Consider space travel, for example. The immense energy produced by nuclear reactions could be used to power spacecraft on long-distance missions, making interstellar travel a reality. But what about the future? Well, researchers are continually exploring new ways to utilize nuclear reactions. From developing more efficient and safer nuclear reactors to studying nuclear fusion as a potentially limitless and clean energy source, the future of nuclear energy seems bright and full of promise. However, while the potential of nuclear energy is astounding, it's not without its challenges. The same power that can light up cities and cure diseases can also cause unimaginable destruction if not handled with utmost caution and respect. Responsible use and careful management of nuclear reactions are crucial to harnessing their potential while minimizing their risks. The possibilities of nuclear energy are vast, but it's important to remember the risks. So as we continue to explore and innovate, Let's do so with a keen awareness of the power we wield, and the responsibility it entails. Nuclear energy holds immense promise but it also comes with significant risks. What are they? 
The allure of nuclear energy lies primarily in its efficiency. A small amount of nuclear fuel can generate a tremendous amount of power. For instance, one ton of uranium can produce as much energy as millions of tons of coal or gas. This makes nuclear energy one of the most potent sources of power on the planet. Moreover, nuclear energy is a low-carbon power source. It emits a fraction of the greenhouse gases produced by fossil fuel burning power plants. This makes it an attractive option for countries seeking to reduce their carbon footprint and combat climate change. However, as with every powerful tool, nuclear energy comes with its own set of risks that we must not overlook. The most glaring, perhaps, is the potential for nuclear accidents. Although safety measures have improved significantly over the years, accidents like those at Chernobyl and Fukushima have shown us the devastating effects of nuclear disasters. Another significant challenge associated with nuclear energy is the disposal of nuclear waste. This waste remains radioactive for thousands of years, posing a threat to both human health and the environment. While strides have been made in managing this waste, the problem of long-term storage still remains. Furthermore, the risk of nuclear weapons proliferation is a significant concern. The same technology used to produce nuclear power can also be used to manufacture nuclear weapons. This dual-use nature of nuclear technology raises security concerns that must be addressed. Despite these risks, the rewards of nuclear energy cannot be understated. The question then becomes how do we balance these risks and rewards? The answer lies in responsible and regulated use of nuclear power, bolstered by continuous advancements in safety and waste management technologies. Indeed, the future of nuclear energy is not a simple dichotomy of good versus bad, but rather a complex interplay of risks and rewards. It's a powerful tool that if used responsibly, can help us meet our energy needs while combating the existential threat of climate change. The future of nuclear energy lies in our ability to harness its power responsibly. So, nuclear reactions, a complex process with a powerful impact. We've delved into the heart of the atom, unraveling the intricate dance of protons and neutrons that fuels the stars and our own nuclear power plants. We've seen how this energy can be harnessed for good, powering our homes, our industries, even our spacecraft. But we've also seen the potential for harm, the specter of nuclear accidents and weapons of mass destruction. The atom is not good or evil, it simply is. It's up to us to decide how to use this power, to ensure it is managed responsibly and with respect for its potential consequences. Our understanding of nuclear reactions is not just a scientific curiosity, but a vital necessity for the future of our planet. The power of the atom is in our hands. What we do with it will shape our future.